Hello everybody, my name is Tyler and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tyler Life. Today we're going to be talking about some of the cartoon classics that have just been announced. So really excited to get started. <laughs> The first pops that I did want to talk about are some new Adventure Time ones. I was really surprised when they did announce these because they haven't had any new Adventure Time ones for quite some time actually. But we do have the Jake with the tape player I think that is. We have an Ultimate Wizard Finn. We also have the Princess Bubblegum in the t-shirt that she has gotten from Marceline. I loved that moment in the TV show, so super excited to have that as a pump. And Lumpy's Space Princess when she gets the shopping bag as a dress. So I love that moment in the show as well. So super excited to be able to pick these up. Lastly, um, we do have a few Beamer pops that were announced, so some of you guys know I do collect Beamer, so I will be definitely picking up these two at the very least. So we have Beamer as Cook, and then the other one is a Hot Topic exclusive, so it's not available for pre-order at the moment, so I'm guessing that will just come out for retail when it is released. But that is the Beamer as like an Archer or Robin Hood. I'm not sure what it's exactly titled since it's not being released. But that's what it looks like based on the picture here. It's nice to see Bunker make new versions of these characters instead of just re-releasing older versions like they do with a lot of the different Bunker pops. So we're super excited to be able to get things that directly relate to episodes instead of just making really similar moulds that we've seen many times before, at least we're getting something completely different that does relate to the show. Secondly, we do have two boys clothes pops. So I don't really remember this show too much. I think I might have seen like an episode here and there. I know there's quite a few different characters in it, so I was surprised when they only had one pop announced which is just the Blue's Clues. There are two different versions of it though. We have the Flocked, which is a Hot Topic exclusive, and just the normal common, which is available for pre-order now, but similar like the Adventure Time Pops. The Hot Topic exclusive one isn't available for pre-order at the moment. Up next, we have the Peppa Pig Funker Pop. So I was a little bit surprised about this one as well, particularly in the fact that They've released only Peppa and they didn't release any of the other characters like Peppa's family. Maybe they'll come later if this pop does well enough, so I guess we'll see about that. But I don't think there's been too many where Funker has just released one pop on its own. Most of the new releases have at least a couple in the line, but this is completely by itself, which I don't think they've done too much. I know they did do it with the old Johnny Bravo, which does lead us into the next segment, actually. So these next few pops don't have their own line. They're actually part of the Cartoon Network line, which was interesting in itself because you can get them now as a bundle. Instead of having to buy them all separately, that is of course if you've seen all of the shows. I know not everybody has. They might be a fan of one show but not the other. So you can still obviously get them in the singles, but it is good for those who are keen on the bundles to be able to get all of them in one go for a discounted price. This is the Jenny Bravo with the comb and mirror. It's a lot more detailed than the older one. It does give a cheaper alternative for people who are wanting to pick up this pop compared to the older one, which is over $100 now because it was a pop culture or a I think it was the Funko Shop exclusive quite some time ago, so it was a little bit harder to get. So for those who aren't wanting to spend over $100 on one pop, it is a great alternative and in my opinion it does look a lot nicer than the older version as well. We then have two new pops from Dexter's Laboratory. This is another show that I haven't seen myself, 
but I know a lot of people are really big fans of the show. They did recently release a Dexter, but similar like the Jenny Bravo Pop, it is over $100 in price. And they did release Dee Dee as a pop, which previously they didn't have her as a character. It is interesting that she is just a normal pop. I would have thought they would have made her like a, like a bigger, maybe six inch pop, just because she's so much taller than Dexter in the show. I feel like it would have made a lot more sense in terms of their height, because she is really tall in comparison to Dexter. So that's something I would have liked to see, but they did go with the four inch pop, so they are looking around the same height. All in all though, they are really cool pops, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be picking these ones up myself, but they are really cool for those who are fans of the show. These next two, I haven't personally seen them either, but we do have a new pop from Courage the Cowardly Dog. I do like the design that they put into this one, in particular using the stand, so that way they didn't have to change the feet, so the character does look essentially like itself. So really happy with how this one turned out compared to the actual character. And finally from the Cartoon Network line we do have two new pops from Cow and Chicken. I know a lot of people weren't too happy with how Chicken turned out because <laughs> some people do think he looks a little bit funny compared to the actual character but I think Funko did as good of a job as they could have done. He is a little bit of a difficult character to put in pop form so I think all in all they did exceptional with these two. The last of the new releases are also Cartoon Network shows but interestingly they didn't include them in the Cartoon Network line. They actually have their own line which is the Powerpuff Girls. They did have old releases of these too but it is nice to see new versions that are more affordable and in my opinion a lot nicer because you can see that they've made great use of the stands so you can see them in that flying motion. For anyone who has seen the show, when they fly, they have their colours behind. So really excited that they incorporated that and these three will definitely be ones that I pick up myself. There also is a new Mojo Jojo pop, so that is awesome to see because all of the other Powerpuff Girl pops are quite expensive now, so definitely ones I'm going to be picking up. But that does conclude all of the announcements. Let me know in the comments if there's any other animated ones that you're surprised that they haven't released yet. Myself, I would love to see them do a possible pop. I'm surprised that they haven't done that yet either. So if you guys have an opinion, I would love to hear it in the comments below. And thank you everyone for watching.